Lord cleared his, cleared his throat. The thunder is lightning so bad to the people who say, hey, don't 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 let the Yahweh speak to us. They, Moses, you can speak to us, okay? The, you know? And it says, uh, whose voice then shook the earth, but now he have we have promised saying, yet once more I shake not the earth, but only, but also the heavens. So you're gonna do more than shake the earth, man, like he did before, even to shake the heavens, man. How is he gonna do that, man, with thermal nuclear destruction? This is how he's gonna shake the heavens, man. It has to be with thermal nuclear destruction. This is this is how he's gonna shake the heavens, man. He's gonna shake the, the first heaven and the second heaven. You know? Stratosphere gonna be gonna get shook and the earth, the first heaven we're gonna get shook. Okay? That 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 great that great awakening, man. Preparing for your how about Shimmy I was shy. Hey, to set this kingdom up, man. And we patiently wait. It's gonna be a glorious kingdom being set up. This is a, uh, the brothers always say, man, this is a beautiful time we're living in right now. To be able to push this word before the, the trouble comes, man. Trying to uh, obtain the uh, exemption, the thawa, that mark, that, that blood of Yahweh Shai, man. You know, in our minds, we're trying to, we're trying to obtain this, man. And hold fast till he comes with what we have. Okay? And he says, uh, whose voice then shook the earth, but now he have promised, saying, yet once more I shake not the earth, only but but also heaven. So the, hey man, the Lord getting ready to getting ready to shake this thing up. Okay? He getting ready to shake it up. Matthew 24, Matthew 24 and 29. Matthew 24 and 29. Okay. It says immediately after the tribulation of those days, it said immediately after the tribulation of those days, man. So this this verse is basically moving in a chronological uh, chronological to close to close to the tribulation. That's what it say. Immediately after, go around. You ain't on the camera. Why would you be ashamed of the Lord anyway? Now you're on camera. <laughs> Cut. See. Jake woman, he saw all right by. She hiding her face behind the camera. The Lord see you anyway. Okay, you see everything you're doing. You see all your thing, all things, man. Okay. Uh, uh. She trying to hide. As a matter of fact, I just read the scripture. The Lord, man, the Lord is beautiful, man. Refusing who speaks, man. Just read that scripture, man. Just read it, man. Hebrews 12 and uh, 25. Prophet thought you how about Shimmy outside. Prophet thought you how about Shimmy outside. Prophet thought you how about Shimmy outside. Hey, just edify it, man. How you gonna escape he that uh, uh, speaking from heaven, man? You know? It says in Proverbs 15 and 3, the eyes of the Lord Yahweh in every place, beholding the evil and the good. So he know everything she already doing. Okay? He know everything she's doing. She's trying to hide and refuse the one that's speaking. How you gonna refuse the Lord that's speaking from heaven, man? Man, it's beautiful. Edification. Beautiful. Man, it says uh Matthew 24. 29 immediately after the tribulation of those days like i said it would be it, the, that the uh, it was going to be it's going to be marked by what thermonuclear destruction okay it says the sun they shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give her light and the stars shall fall from heaven and the powers of heaven shall be shaken and that's and that's basically like a twofold 
because when the, the nuclear missiles hit, when it makes that mushroom cloud and that nuclear winter, you're not gonna know day from night because it's basically gonna block out the, the, the rays of the sun and the light of the moon by night and you won't see the stars, okay? You know? And the other fold is the stars of heaven who are in rulership right now. It's, you eat them, ice, man. The earth is given to the hands of the wicked. So you basically in that seat, man. You're in that high seat. You know? You, you're the stars of heaven right now. Of this rulership right now. And you're going to be shaken, man. Your rulership going to be shaken by thermonuclear destruction. Right? On the return of Yahweh Shai, man. It's going to be shaken up. Okay? It says immediately after the tribulation, man. So when that thermonuclear destruction hit, it's gonna be instant, man. It, 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 uh, it explains when that nuclear missile goes off, you see a flash of light, which, which is blinding. And then when the, uh, when the actual the bomb hits, the, the roaring of that bomb, the noise that it makes when it's going across the land actually deafens you, man. So you, if, you, if you survive that nuclear destruction, if you are in a place that, that doesn't be uh, burned by the thermonuclear destruction, then guess what? You ain't gonna be able to see or hear. You're gonna be in a confused state. You're gonna grope like, like a man in noonday. You're gonna be groping, man. You're gonna be going around not being able to see or hear. You're just gonna be trying to feel your way around. Okay? It's gonna be a, 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 a bad situation that's coming, man. Bad situation coming to America, man. Okay? Uh, let me get Isaiah. Isaiah, uh, let's get Isaiah. Isaiah 13. Let's get Isaiah 13 and uh, 10. It's Isaiah 13 and 10. For the stars of heaven and the constellations thereof shall give no light. The sun shall be darkened in its going forth, and the moon shall not cause her light to shine. So everything is going to be dark and dismal on that day, man. Men ain't going to have no comfort, ain't going to be no comfort and hope in that day for, for these men. Everything's going to be at a calamitous state, man, okay? I mean, I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease. Who are the proud? Esau, the arrogancy of the proud. You say it's going to cause it to cease, man. So you Edomites, man, you about to shake up your uh, rulership, man, okay? And it says, uh, I will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. Okay. Hey, man, it's gonna be it's gonna be a a, a, a beautiful thing, man, to see this this uh, the fall of our enemies spoken of in uh, Sirach, man. I mean, I think it's Sirach, yeah. But you know, our people don't want to see that. They they rather still be in uh, 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 under in subjection. But that ain't what the Lord said in the Bible. He said none of his words are going to go out void. Okay? This is Acts. Acts 27 and 20. And when neither sun nor stars in many days appear, and no small tempest lay on us, all hope that we shall be saved was taken away. And that's to you two thirds, man. There'll be no hope, no comfort. Then to you Edomites, because a lot of you uh, uh, Edomites, a lot of you Edomites, you think that that uh, the Lord is dealing with you. You think because you go to church every Sunday that you that you're gonna be saved too. You have no clue that the Lord came for the nation of Israel, man. The Israelites, man, and wherever the, the seed of Israel is in the world. Those are the ones that can come back to uh, 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 repentance and come back to the Lord, man. A lot of y'all, man, finna, finna be in for a rude awakening, okay? 
going to know, man. You heard that scripture? Ezekiel 32 and 7. I will cover the heaven and make the stars there, thereof dark. See, with thermonuclear destruction, that mushroom cloud, that's how it's going to make it dark. I will cover the sun with a cloud and the moon shall not give her light. All the bright lights of heaven will I make dark over thee and set darkness upon the, thy land, said the Lord Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. And I will also vex the hearts of many people when I shall bring thy destruction upon the nations. It says, into the countries which thou hast not known. So, hey, this destruction is going to go forth. It's going to go forth to countries that we don't even know about. And the world is big, man. So, what he's going to bring is... That, see that mushroom cloud right there from that third this is that this is what's gonna black out everything when that when that when that when that cloud goes up in the air man right it's gonna black out the, the sun the light of the sun the light of the moon and the light of the stars that mushroom cloud from the thermonuclear destruction this is what's gonna this is what's gonna make you people grope grope at grope like a blind man groping at noonday okay and it's, 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 a, it's a beautiful time, man. Hey, this is a scary time. That's why that fear of the Lord, hey, the fear of the Lord, if you have that fear of the Lord, you, you be prophesying on the highways and byways, man. Right along with the men of the Lord, okay? You know? I got you. Joel. Let's see what Joel had to say. Joel 2, Joel 2 and 30, it says, And I will show wonders in heaven and in the earth, blood, before the great the terrible day of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Because the Lord going to have all kind of things happening. He's going to have sedition among men. He's going to have race wars going, concentration camps. So he said he's going to show blood before that great day, man. You know, a lot of a lot of uh, 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 a lot of uh, uh, evil times and bad things are going to be happening before that great day, man. You know, and it says, "In fire, pillar of smoke, the sun shall be turned into darkness, and the moon into blood before the great and terrible day of the Lord Yahweh. The Lord Yahweh come, Bashem Yahweh shall come." It says. And it shall, it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, shall be delivered. So that name is important, okay? You can't just call the name Yahweh, Yahshua, Yehoshua, Ra, and Yah. Yah is, Yah is a, like, a, like a nickname, but his name is Yahweh, man. You got a lot of the, the, the conscious people, they say Yah. People even say they're Israelite, they say Yah, man. They don't want to say the full name. But he says, the only way you're going to be delivered is you got to call on that name. Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, man. If you want to be saved in that day, okay? And it says, and it shall come to pass, meaning the future, shall come to pass, meaning a prophecy, okay? It says that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, shall be delivered, man. When you're going to deliver, it means uh, uh, escape, being rescued from what? Thermonuclear destruction. Okay? You might go through some trials. You might go to a concentration camp. You might get beat with scourges for, for four or five days in a row. Okay? That could happen to an, an elect man. Okay? You could suffer great pains to test your faith. But when the thermonuclear missile comes, and you still calling on that name, your faith, the Lord is not going to let you be taken by it. When you read in Zechariah the 13th chapter, he said that what? One third I'm going to bring through the fire. 
And when you see in that picture I just showed you of the of the uh, chariot beaming people up and what was going on up under them, it was it was it was nuclear destruction. Me, I need I show it to you again. Okay. See. See that? Them lights, them beams of lights, there's people in them lights, man, getting beamed up. And what's happening? The thermonuclear destruction is happening right up under their feet. Okay, they're getting beamed through the fire, man. Okay, and that's gonna literally happen. That's gonna be literal. That's not figurative, that's gonna be literal. Okay? It's gonna be literal, man. You're gonna be getting beamed through the fire, man. Okay? That's why Revelation 15, 1 and 2 said, hey, standing on that sea of glass, being in them chariots, man. Looking like you in the fire. Look like a sea of glass, man. Look like you're going to be in the fire because you're actually going to be getting beamed through the fire. The angels are ministers of, are ministers of flaming fire, man. So the chariot could be in the fire and won't be getting harmed. It could be engulfed in the fire. Because it is a, 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 a engulfing flame of fire. When you see in the, when you're looking in the stratosphere at night, when you see that flame of fire shooting through, streaking through the uh, uh, sky, man, that's a chariot. So these chariots can be in that nuclear destruction in the fire, and you being beamed up through the fire and brought into what? When you read in Isaiah the 26th chapter, 21st, come now to thy chambers, man, and wait here for a little while until the indignation pass, man coming to thy chambers, man. Only the elect men are going to be able to come into those chambers, man. The elect men in the one-third multitude, man. You know? So, it's, it's, that, that's, that's what it is, man. Alright? Whosoever shall, it shall, and it shall come to pass, that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, not, not, uh, you're not gonna be able to call on, uh, on Jesus in that day. And he said the slain of the Lord are gonna be many. Because a lot of people are gonna be calling on that name Jesus, man. Which is a Greek name. You're not gonna be, you're not gonna, the Lord's language. Yahweh Shah spoke to Paul in Acts 26 chapter in Hebrew. And it tells you, read it right there. I think Hebrews uh, 26 around 13. Spoke to me in the Hebrew tongue. So you better be speaking in the old Hebrew tongue, the paleo, not no Yiddish. You better learn that, that, that paleo name of the Lord before that great and dreadful day, man. And ask for forgiveness, man. And ask the Lord to guide you and protect you. Okay? And it says, And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord Yahweh Shemel Shai will be delivered. For in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem, these are two names that are synonymous with the nation of Israel. When you see Zion and you see Jerusalem, these are buzzwords to let you know it's talking about 12 tribes of Israel, man. Okay? And it says, it shall be a deliverance. As the Lord Yahweh have said, and in the remnant whom the Lord shall call. So in them is going to be a remnant, okay? A remnant definitely going to be saved. And you're going to have uh, uh, the elect, one third, and the elect. S certain believers are going to be, uh, uh, believers of Israel are going to be beamed up. Two, as well. He said that remnant, for sure, man. Which is that election. Right? Bakar, Bakar Yar, man in the Hebrew and eclectos in the Greek. All right? The elect men who were chosen from the foundations of the world, when you read in Ephesians, the first chapter, the third, fourth, read the third, fourth, and fifth verse, man. That was an election, man. Boom! Almost been a wreck. Man. These people don't pay attention, man. They such in a hurry. That was, that was like a... That was like a two inch miss from the front of her car hitting the back of her car. Like two inches, man. I just knew it had hit it.